Good morning everyone and welcome to another show vlog. Woohoo! Look at the sunrise guys over here. Oh my goodness. Don't mind my very messy car if you can see it, but wow. Um, we are heading off to a show this morning. It is Saturday morning. Yes, we usually do leave for shows on a Friday, but this weekend we're leaving on a Saturday with the truck. He's here having his breakfast. Yes, got some, you look very attractive. Say hi. Hi. Um, so I platted up the big boy last night. I rode him last night. I don't know if I'm going to have time to ride him before my dressage test today, which is at 12.30. And I'm also doing show jumping today as well, later in the afternoon. Um, so we're here bright and early. He's going to have his breakfast. I'm going to put his hide hood on as well, just to get him all calm and ready for traveling. Um, and let's get this show vlog on the road. doing my hair we've arrived in good time it's about 9 30 and I've just realized that I'm kind of my dressage arena is down on the cross-country course <laughs> which might not be wow that is atrocious I'll start that again um down on the cross-country course so I might go and walk him down and have a bit of a pre-ride um just to get him used to that area because obviously with him and he'll see the cross-country jumps and might think we're going cross-country so we just want to go down there and just make it a very nice and calm experience have like a walk trot canter and then come back and then let him chill and slowly start getting ready for my test at 12 o'clock. Time to go ride. It's a bit of a long walk down here. I think it takes 15 minutes in total. Oh, and it's very steep and quite rocky. So we'll just take it nice and easy for him. Let me figure out where he's going to walk. Right? So I just finished my ride. He was actually very good. Like there was no bucking. There was no, there was only like a couple of head tosses where I think he was just like, oh, I just want to go. The sounds of a show. Um, and it's actually a little bit chilly, but it definitely takes a long time to walk down and come back up. So I've just sponged him down. Um, so hopefully he'll be nice and dry by the time we need to do my test, which is in an hour and a half. So I need to start getting ready and getting changed. So I've got about an hour until my dressage test. Enzo's got his saddle on. I've, <coughs> I've got my top and my stock tire. Everything's in the boot of the car, so it's all quick access. But the ground's very pretty. Look, there's people doing their tests right in that arena just there and warming up. Um, but yeah, so the test is the exact same one that I've been doing all year so far. So he typically scores 35 or less, but we'll just see how he goes today and hopefully he can keep it together in amongst all the cross-country jumps in the warm-up um because we don't have like a nice little kind of spot set aside up here i guess for the lower levels where we're down there in the cross country and i think there's three arenas down there so all the 45 65 and 80 so i'm in the 80 off the track class as always um so yeah we'll just see how he goes and let's hope he keeps it together so we're just chilling next to the dressage arena it's just over there watching some other people in my class do their test because I'm a bit early which is good but he's standing so chilled isn't he yeah licking and chewing which is super good um but yeah so oh, try and stay calm and relaxed no expectations hey Enzo <laughs> resting your head on his shoulders eh? Sailed and all your dreams are lost. 
Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember, I will be there for you, baby Remember, there's nothing out there to get you Don't forget it, when life throws lemons Just call on me dressage test is done I might be a bit puffed because I'm walking up this massive hill um, our warm-up was okay I think Enzo might have got bitten on the tummy by something he's been kind of going at it and um, I know that there's been a ton of like flies but and there it goes again <laughs> um, but look considering the arena and everything we had like three different surfaces in there I felt like I was cantering downhill a lot on a bit of a weird angle um, but considering all that, I think he held, to, held it together pretty well. I don't think his head carriage was as good as what it usually is. I think he might have just been a little bit like nervous about the flooring and kind of holding it up a bit and just being a bit tense 
through his neck. But that's okay. Now, upwards transitions definitely weren't as good as what they usually are, especially at home. He just like falls into it where he was kind of a bit um, avoiding my contact a bit. But the walk was good. He almost stopped in the walk, guys. And our extended walk was pretty nice too, so I was happy with that. Um, but the upwards to trot. Pretty much all of our upwards weren't that good, but I'm really happy with the walk and how he came up the center line that last time. Um, when we came, went in the first time, I think there's a fly or something in his bonnet. He was kind of shaking a bit. Um, the trot work was okay. But yeah, still, it's another event under our belt. We've never been here before, so, you know, this is Harvey and all in all, considering how fresh it is and the trains go past and the quad bikes and everything right next to our arena. Happy days. And the cross country jumps too. Good boy. All right, so I am out here on the cross country course right now sitting in, I think it was fifth place. Fifth out of 13 or 14. There was really low numbers in my class. I usually have like 30 plus. Um, so I'm sitting in fifth. Really happy with where we're sitting at the moment. He got 35.6. Definitely not one of our best tests that we've done, but if we, if we were judging our test that we did at home last night, I'm sure it would have been sub 30, but that's just how it works, doesn't it? So considering everything, I'm very, very happy to be sitting in fifth. You know, the ideal dream in eventing for me is to finish on my dressage score, whatever that may be. Um, you know, I haven't bought a pre-packaged horse that is super, super careful. Enzo is a very, very tricky. He's the trickiest horse I have ever ridden. Um, you know, I've got to ride him really, really perfectly to even give him a chance to go clear. He's not, he's not just a genuinely careful horse. So I've really got to try for my show jumping this afternoon. But at the moment, we've got the start box over here. Then it's, I've got to hang left and come to number one. And this was actually the jump that I did going into the water at Capel. So it looks like they've brought some of the jumps from over there to here, but this is my snack. You can say it's somewhat healthy, right? Veggie chips. Right. As long as I don't eat the whole packet at once, I guess, but I'll show you guys the rest of the course. Alright guys, so I just finished walking the cross country course. It looks very cool. I just need to remember where I'm going because it's very like dirty everywhere. But um, so obviously it's darkened up a bit because I think it's gonna rain. So cross country walk is done. I think there's 19 jumps. There's a lot of combinations actually. Um, but I looked at some of the 95 jumps and I was like, oh, I could do that with Enzo. So he's always very bold and brave cross country. I know that's one of his strong dressage and cross country are his stronger phases, but now we've got show jumping, so we'll just see how we go. And, you know, as I said before, would love to finish on my dressage score, but knowing him, you know, he's not a naturally careful horse. Haven't bought him as a purpose-bred show jumper. You know, he's an off-the-track thoroughbred, like long and flat is kind of how he goes. So it's just a matter of keeping the rhythm, trying to keep his head up looking. And for me to sit on, sit up and sit strong, um, as Georgie tells me, and just hope that we do not have a demolition derby. No. All right, so I'm just about to go walk the show jump course. It's just started to rain as well. I'm a bit early, so I think the juniors and the normal 80s go first and then me. So yeah, let's go check out this show jump course. looks good the, the last one set pretty big actually I reckon it's about a 90 so just try and keep a rhythm guys as I always say try and keep a rhythm sit back and you know I'll take him to the jump and then he's got to clear it for me um so we'll see how we go but wish us luck <laughs>
So jumping is done. Hey. I don't have any treat speed. I don't. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Gotcha. Um, so two rails, guys. Look, he tapped his way the whole way around that course and I thought we had six or seven rails down and oh, I did get a little bit upset after the round because I was like far out like how many how many rounds do I need to do to even somewhat get like a clear round and I felt like seven was his um I did get a little bit deep you know but even in those little bit of a deep spot he does have to know to lift himself and really you know go up instead of you know out and forward um and then nine I just over Oh! You just broke it! What'd you do that for? No, no, no. I'm a good boy. Um, but yeah, so I got a little bit emotional coming out of the arena. I don't know why. I was just like, oh, you know, how long does it take? You know, we got three quarters of the ray round and then like had seven and nine. Um, but he was so careful through the combination guys oh my gosh like i knew it was like a, i wasn't going to hold for the five stride between the four and five a um so i pushed for the four strides and then i really just sat up between the double and was like no one two because there was no one stride in there um but he's struggling a bit shall i try and pull some down for you i think so um, but yeah, look guys, you know, I shouldn't beat myself up about it, but you know, I just really want him to do well and for him to succeed, you know, and get some more clear show jump rounds. But you know, maybe we just got to get a better dressage score to give us a bit of room when it comes to show jumping. But all in all, I shouldn't beat myself up about it. I'm sure you guys are probably like, you know, the two's not even bad, Elizabeth. You had, you've had more before, but yeah, we'll just see. I think the show jumping was tricky for quite a few in the 80s. I think there was a few rails, probably not. Um, as many as me, but we'll just we'll keep working on it, eh? Can we? And um, we'll give him his dinner and say goodnight, and then I will catch up with you guys first thing in the morning. Can you say goodbye? No. Nah, he literally doesn't even care. You say goodbye? Hang on. You say goodbye? You say goodbye? <laughs> morning, guys. It's cross country day. Um, we. Went off site and stayed overnight at um, one of the guys that we go with, his um, family friend. Um, Enzo was very good last night. He had a nice um, stable to himself. So he's just munching on some hay and he's got the rest of his breakfast. Yes. Um, but no, he's looking pretty good. So my lovely cotton isn't as clean as it was yesterday because he had to wear it last night. But yes, yeah, so we've got cross country today. I'm very excited. I'm going to go walk my course again this morning right now. Um, but overall, he had a lovely stable to himself last night. Hi. <laughs> so cheeky. Um, and yes, really looking forward to it. Um, just got to keep my leg on, positive, you know, and don't ever think, you know, once we've gotten over the water that I can just relax or anything, you know, because I still have to work very hard. Um, but yeah, no, feeling really good. We're warming up here. Okay, so we don't warm up there, so walk over here now we get fun. But yeah, I'm just going to walk the course again one last time this morning because I believe that one of the lines has slightly changed. So let's go do that and, oh, and then slowly start getting ready. Very, very slowly. I've got two hours until I'm on. So um, but yeah, no, I'm excited. I've got my coffee. I feel like I can have a coffee today, <laughs> but I'm not going to get too nervous. I feel like I have a coffee sometimes and I get a very upset tummy and I just get very nervous. Time to get changed, time to get changed. We're just under the hour mark, getting ready. I feel a bit nervous, a bit excited. Okay, let's get changed. Cross country time, guys. I'm all dressed, I'm ready. Let's see how we go. Wish us luck, everyone. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, so we're a bit early, which is absolutely fine, but kind of, I guess for those of you who don't compete, like we're all kind of in like a pre-warm-up area where I'll walk him around. He's been really nice and relaxed, which is awesome, but I'm just really trying to, you know, think about the course and where I'm going. And don't forget to put, you know, my watch on. I've written down all my markers everywhere and just really trying to breathe and just like just like trying to stay calm because as soon as I get tense or like excited I'm sure he'll be able to know but he's nice and relaxed he just took a deep breath then too so we're kind of in sync at the moment but then you know as soon as we get out that start box it's it's game on
or something caught his eye. But yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling, just trying to not be too, too worried. Wow guys, I am stoked, he was a machine! He was a machine! Look at him powering up this hill. He's like, yeah, I'm a big boy. He was so cool. Even we got like a little bit deep to a few of them, I'm not gonna lie, but there was no drifting, no reefing, no hesitation. I did have my whip in my hand. I did use it before number six um, and nine AB because he just um, hesitated a little bit. But no, went through the forest, not a problem, up the hill. He just was loving it. He was just like ripping into the ground, going rum, 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 up the hill. So I'm really happy with him. And this is, you know, even just for the cross country, if my other two phases aren't the best, then so be it. My cross country I'm stoked with, so it's all worth it. And I've got to remember these highs and everyone looks like they've been coming across the finish line really, really happy. So it doesn't look like there's been too many problems out there, but it's definitely, I guess, one of our more technical ones because it isn't just like, you know, flowing. It's lots of turns. Um, combinations and things so definitely one of the I guess the more technical things not height just technical stuff which is great for us to to know especially coming downhill to jumps as well that's super good I know that I could bring him back a bit because I know he was going a bit fast but yeah he came back to me and I hope my partner got enough footage for you guys to see out on the cross country but I'm stoked with him so so happy wow guys yay <laughs> and once I call him off and everything I'll let you guys know where we end up guys probably wondering why I'm dressed in my dressage gear post cross country well just take a moment grab a tea grab a coffee and just watch and see what happens but I think my smile says it all uh, second place went to Elizabeth Wilson riding Woo! Woo! go out well. Got it. Wowee. I'm trying not to make a big deal, but I could like cry. I'm that excited. Oh my gosh, guys, we got second. So it's going to put this on Enzo, put it on his halter. And, but wow, guys, how did we go from ninth to second? I have no idea. But we did. Happy days. What is that? You surprised. You're winning. Who's second? Good boy. So, so super. Double clear cross country brought us up from ninth to to second place, which is just incredible. Like I'm just so proud of him. This is our first eventing placing for me ever, and for us as a team, it is our first time. We obviously placed at that Grand Prix last year, um, but this is our first eventing one. It is, and I think he's very proud of himself. Well done, buddy. You know, dressage over. Oh, dressage overall you know wasn't our best we got two rails show jumping but that double clear and that powerful you know thoroughbred that was in him bold brave self 
really shone today and finished up in second. So thank you guys so much for watching my latest show vlog and I have got another show in two weeks. So I'll see you guys on my next video very, very soon. Bye.